Hello guys, I am going to go ahead and show you another champion that I was able to purchase from the four that were released on the recent update. Uh, this champion is going to be uh, World. This champion is pretty much very similar or <laughs> it could be an evil twin of uh, Kartus from LOL. I'm not very familiar with LOL but a lot of people have been telling me that. I looked up the videos and it is true. It is just an evil twin. So this champion does pretty much the same. So if you want to uh, learn some builds, you can actually look um, over there in the LOL, see what builds they have and see what's gonna work for you. <clears throat> when I noticed that the cooldown for this skill was two seconds and that he is very mana hungry, I noticed that one item can, wow, 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 lady, lady, chill lady. <laughs> she went balls deep inside, like uh, to the tower. Balls deep, girl. I casted behind her the um, that skill because I thought that she was actually going to move back, but she did not. I don't know what happened there. Okay, uh, so <clears throat> I noticed that since this champion has a two second cooldown on this ability, I think uh, Throwbane can do very well on this champion because it is going to provide additional 250 mana some ability power which is pretty cool and then the ability to proc troll bean every two seconds that's pretty nice if you ask me now the the first skill which is this one right here that is a skill that most people level up and yes it's pretty nice if you hit only one target it actually deals twice the damage it is pretty nice if you build some ability power that actually deals uh, very good damage um i am going to go ahead and, uh, and get agility shoes the reason is that I actually know the skills that she has and it's not going to be wise if you don't, if I don't have mobility because she's going to deal a, a ton of damage and if we have good mobility we're going to be able to avoid her shenanigans. Now this champion, the passives, the passive is that every time I, ki yeah, I kill a unit, it could be any unit, I actually get 3% of my mana back which is pretty nice or it's two percent it's between two and three percent the thing is that the talent also has something similar i think i think it's two percent for the passive three percent for the talent if not the other way around and if you kill a champion you actually get ten percent of your mana back right here right here i'll just clear and go back and heal because that's it's needed okay since uh, she started with Wand of Despair, I think that she's going to build a uh, cooldown reduction. So it's something really nice to know in ahead. So that we can go ahead and, and realize that she's going to be spamming the skills a little bit more often. I am going to go ahead and get the potion. Right here, I am going to go ahead and die. And I, I will show you the, um, the passive. Let me get the potion so that she doesn't get it. Um, this is the passive. This is the second part of the passive, as you can see. I'll cast me ult my ultimate, and it hit her, and it hit the units as well, and it stunned the units. So that is pretty nice. But it does, it, it channels for, well, the passive. The passive, you your soul stays behind for 7 seconds, and you actually um, can keep casting skills. You can keep using your skills, and uh, nonetheless, you can use also your ultimate, which is pretty nice. Oh, she's right there. Or is it? Oh no, she was not. Okay, so you can keep casting your skills while you're um, dead or not dead or while you're in your spirit form. And you can also use your ultimate, but you have to be very mindful of that time that you have left. Because if your time burns out before you're able to cast your ultimate, you actually lose the ultimate and you don't deal damage. So you have to be very careful with that. I... I use the ultimate whenever I see that they have low health. It's basically like Thor. This champion it is very similar to the Thor gameplay because you can. Y the difference is that you can. Uh, mm, the skill that, who's, that has a two second cooldown, you actually have to aim it. And with Thor, you don't have to aim it. That's the only difference. The ultimate, pretty much same like Thor. Um, the difference is that with this one you deal more damage, almost double the damage, but it does take a 3 second uh, channeling time. 
that can be interrupted if you get stunned or not. Or can it not be interrupted? Hmm. Yeah, this one can be interrupted. That one that cannot be interrupted is the one for Vayne. I was I was just confusing those two skills. If I hear her, if I get her, I'll get her with my ultimate. Right there, there's no need for me to get close to her. So I'll just cast my ultimate and that's gonna be my my kill. Since I have extra mana, I am going to cast my second skill, which you can toggle. You can activate it and keep it on as long as you want. Well, as long as you have mana to pay the cost. Uh, what I am going to go ahead and build in this champion is going to be Guardian Scepter. Because we do need the additional mana. Then I will keep my agility shoes. Because, well, we need to avoid the skills that, that she's having. The We need to avoid her skills. Misander's skills deal a lot of damage, so you have to avoid it. The next item that I'll get after this, I will get Trollbane. And that is just for additional mana and sweet uh, passive. So that, that's gonna be it. Okay. Um, a lot of people move a lot whenever you're casting your your um, your one, but some other people don't move. So it's kind of hard to know when someone is actually going to stay in the same spot. But if you hit all of the way, you deal let's see 150 damage to all. But if you hit a single enemy, you actually deal 300, which is pretty nice. Right here, we're not gonna die. And she's going to die. <laughs> Again, she wanted to go balls deep inside of the tower. And that's not a good idea. I don't know if she made a mistake of uh, pressing the crow again because she was teleported inside. And, or maybe she wanted to go for the kill. I mean, the, she could have killed me, yes. But she would have had to continue attacking instead of um, of rushing outside so that's gonna be the tower as you can see wow I was able to deal about 300 damage on the enemy I am going to go ahead and take my potion go back heal and then I'll come back since we already oh yes she already built some cold reduction as expected uh, since I already took down the tower we can just go ahead and go get the core but we're gonna go ahead and attack this minions first Oh, I, I got cursed. Now, her curse is very powerful, actually. It deals a lot of damage over time, which is pretty nice in a way. And, guys, I need your opinion. I want to buy... It's between two champions. I don't know if I should buy... Oh, she's gonna die. Oh, she stayed in the bushes. That... <laughs> And, and let me show you the amazing thing about Trollbane. Because you can proc it very often. Trollbane proc. Now again. Trollbane proc. Now again. Trollbane proc. Can you see the additional 283 damage? My basic deals 107. By my troll proc deals 280 some. So that's pretty nice. Oh, the, the skill got casted and uh, it got stopped. The dummy, you can see it. They're flying in the back. You can still see it right there. Okay, guys. So between the uh, two other champions that I have left, I already have the the one the two that you see on your screen. I have Miss Sandra and I have Barl. I I can go ahead and purchase one more champion, and I am actually making a decision between uh, buying uh, Mikir or buying uh, Vane Vian. I'm sorry, Vian. So let me have a comment on the comment section leave me a comment saying which one which champion would you prefer for me to purchase that way i will purchase and learn how to play the champion and i'll show you some gameplay because i will only be able to have one because i only have a thousand uh diamonds so therefore i can only purchase one and to be honest i could care less of which one i purchased because the one i wanted it was misandra and i already have her so guys just help me with that make help me decide which champion i should play because uh, at the end of the day i will just purchase it so that you can guys see how his skills work and how it is basically i'll just purchase it so that you well for you guys so that that's it uh just let me know which champion would you like me to purchase for you guys and i'll i'll do it i guess i'll give it one today to see how much comments i get i know i'll get just maybe two three but that's gonna be it if 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 i have two comments that say purchase um uh, 
Vayne, well, I'll, I'll purchase Vayne. Learn how to play that champion and upload some videos with that guy. Well, guys, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching my videos and, uh, and have a nice night as well.